Hi friends, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. This is the first time I am coming in front of a camera for a technical video. What we are going to assemble today is a very peculiar one. Whatever spare parts we are using in this projects are available in local market and it is very cheap also. And I will show you what we are going to make. And we are going to make this one. And this is not a sword or anything. This is a light where its color can be changed according to your wish. You can even make new colors by mixing the primary colors. It can have a green color or a red color or even a blue color. And the combination of the light is also possible. You can even make magenta color, you can make white color, you can make uh, yellow color and so on. Enough with the introduction. Now let us make this one. We are going to make light in multicolor with an old faulty tube light. There is a notch at each end of the tube light like this. Press gently on that notch for releasing the end cap. I used a small screwdriver for this. If not done very carefully it will break and go inside. For me it has just happened. This is not an issue because the end cap is already very tight and we can reinsert it without any problem. It is full of dust. I can do something. I will put a small paper under it. It will be more easy for me to clean. This tube has been working for 2 to 3 years. I am not quite sure how this dust has come inside it. To dismantle it, you have to gently pull the PCB out. Do it very gently, otherwise there is a chance that the PCB may break. One more thing, the main wire is coming out through the center of the tube light. If we do not push it in from outside, this may stuck while we are pulling the PCB out from the tube light. This is not a tedious task. We are almost done with this. Now we can just pull the PCB out from the tube. I repeat, this task need to be done very very slowly and carefully. This PCB is 4 feet long and that one is the driver for this tube light. After pulling it out, I will clean both the PCB and the tube light. Still I am not quite sure how this dust particles has entered inside this enclosed tube light. I will tilt the tube light and you will understand how much dust was inside this tube light. And I have no idea how this has come inside. I will clean both the PCB and the tube light and will come back. I have cleaned both the tube enclosure and the PCB. This uh, most of the LEDs are gone. You can see the dark spot in, uh, in each of the LEDs. And we are not at all going to use these LEDs and this side of the PCB. We are not going to remove any of these LEDs but we are going to use the other side of the PCB. And this side of the PCB should be thoroughly cleaned and there should not be any oil content in this, uh, this, uh, this side of the PCB. The PCB is actually glued on top of an aluminum sheet and this aluminum sheet will act as the heat sink for this LED. This is an LED strip, an RGB LED strip and this one is the controller for it. It is working in 12 volt and you can see the remote and all. These type of LED strips are coming uh, with, uh, with an adhesive tape on back of this LED strip. You can peel it off and glue it anywhere.
once we complete the soldering of wires the the task related to the led strip and the tube is over after that we will insert this pcb back to the tube light enclosure After we insert the PCB, we will close it with the end cap and before closing it, we will put a hole in the end cap and pull the four wires out through it. Next we will make the power supply for this LED tube light. For that we will be using three 3.7 volt 18650 lithium ion batteries. We will be using 3S5 ampere this BMS for charging these batteries. This BMS will help the battery from deep discharge, overcharging and also short circuit protection. I have completed the wiring from the battery holder to the BMS. This is the positive line and this one is the series connection that is plus and minus and this one is the next series connection and finally this is the negative that is the yellow wire. This yellow wire is connected to the B minus of the BMS and the next wire that, that is this junction plus and minus series connection that is connected to the B1 of the BMS and this one. Uh, next junction that is connected to the B2 of the BMS and finally this positive is connected to B positive of the BMS and this one we will be connecting across B, B, P plus and P minus through this we are charging the battery as well as pulling the uh, uh, voltage to the uh, RGB LED and from the negative line we will be connecting three switches uh, that is for red blue and green LEDs normally switch is connected at the positive line why we are connecting the switches in the negative line because our rgb led strip is common anode that is positive is common and the negative line is different for each led that is red blue and green the batteries are connected in series that is three batteries in series to form 11.1 volt or in short 12.6 volt and we will be fixing these batteries in the back side of the leds using a double sided tape we can charge the batteries used through the socket by providing a 12.6 volt that is the power supply from the modem is enough wi-fi modem or router is enough or we can uh, the batteries are connected to the holder so you can detach the battery from the holder and charge it separately and we will connect or fix the switches somewhere uh, near to this battery before that i will fix the battery using the double sided tape for that we can uh, it's already fixed in the back side of the led holder only we i need to peel off the protective paper and and just stick it on the back side of the led tube light I have fixed the switches in the tube and the connection has also been given. I will explain you how it is done. From the BMS, the uh, brown wire that is the positive line. Uh, that line is connected to the white wire. White wire is connected to the positive terminal of the RGB LED strip. Since RGB LED strip is a common anode type, this positive is common to the three LEDs that is red, blue and green and the black wire that is that is uh, the negative supply that i have given 
common to the three switches. This is because in the RGB LED strip, the negative line of the each LEDs are different. That is why we use three switches for switching the three LEDs separately. The other terminal of the switch is connected to the red, blue and green terminals of the RGB LED strip. And this female connector we will be using for charging the batteries. You can make use of your Wi-Fi modem power supply or router power supply for charging these batteries. If that power supply is not available, we have used the uh, 18650 battery holder in this project. So you can detach the battery from the holder and charge it separately. So we have provided two provisions for charging the battery. Detach it and charge or charge it using a uh, 12 volt power supply. Next thing is we have to test this tube light whether it is working fine or not. That thing we haven't done yet so i am inserting three 18 650 battery to the battery holder i am having the 2600 milliage battery which is of 3c type uh, so you can make use of 1c also since i am having 3c with me i am testing the led tube light using that battery we can even make use of 1200 milliage battery or uh, 2000 milliage battery or any 1850 battery is okay with this setup now I will switch it on the first switch, um, you can see the green LED is lighting and it is working perfectly fine and this is the red LED that is also working perfectly fine and the, since the uh, my studio is having very high brightness, you can feel that the brightness is very less from the LED tube and this is the blue LED that is also working perfectly fine, this is magenta color and this is white color, white color is having a, a bit uh, blue tint and this is yellow color and our rgb led tube light is working perfectly fine some of you might have felt that this rgb led tube light has less brightness that is why i have switched off all the studio lights that is specific to the recording only the room light i have switched it on let us test that now you can uh, see how much brightness this led tube light has the camera has re automatically reduced its brightness now in my studio i am using only one tube light now I will switch on each LEDs one by one. The red is actually marvelous and also the blue is also excellent. Now you all are happy with the brightness of the RGB LED tube light, right? Now I will show you the entire RGB LED tube light. And this is the only light I am using in this room. This is a 20 watt tube light that is cool white. If you feel any use with this video, please press like button and also share this to your friends. If you have any doubt or suggestions related to this video, then please comment on this video. Please comment on whether this video is good or bad. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.